this is me, Helmut, and um, well, you found um, one of those buttons. The button you found happens to be about how to be an expert, how to be perceived as an expert. You are, no doubt about it. <laughs> you know. Um, so, first of all, let me tell you this. Uh, all the buttons down here, all those strategies, they're equally important, literally. There's no such a thing like one thing is more important than the other one. And keep this in mind, the public, the people who come to you cannot, especially if you're a dentist, um, they cannot perceive, they cannot evaluate whether you're an expert or not. So 99% of the time, if they like and refer you, they will actually refer you because you're a jolly good fellow, because they like you, uh, you and your staff, they like the ambience, they like that whole um, feeling. Nevertheless, you want to be perceived as the expert. And you cannot do that by you saying, I'm good. You cannot do that with flyers and coupons and name it. You cannot do that. How do you do that? Number one is the media. The media must talk about you and give professional opinions. Frankly, those opinions could be not in your field. And you still will be an expert. However, let's go and talk about opinions in your field. How do you do that? It's quite simple, actually. If you want to talk about something in your field and you go to the media in your local area, which is important, that's, the, that's, that's where you need to be, local area, because that's what the people who will be spending money with you are reading. All right? Um, a local media does you better than being in, dental, uh, in dentistry today if you happen to be a dentist. Not just all this do it, which doesn't mean we wouldn't want to get into dentistry today also. I'm not saying. Okay? Because uh, we can, you know, reuse it. However, the way to get in it, so if you just go and talk about a particular health matter, changes are you'll not get in and the media will tell you, go and advertise with us. The way to do it is, you look, you scan low, uh, with, 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 with large newspapers, New York Times, LA Times, this type of paper, and you know, kind of that type of paper, um, what articles which have appeared about a particular topic which is somehow in your arena. Also, you scan medical magazines, big ones, okay, which wrote about something, okay. Uh, to a certain degree, the ones to the public are usually slightly better, but not necessarily, you know, exclusively better. And you find out that XYZ magazine, and by the way, that could be a magazine, that could be a newspaper, and it could be in the country or outside the country, Japan, Europe, for that much in Africa, Singapore, it doesn't matter, all right? So somebody writes about something in one of those big things, usually they have a particular person or an institution they kind of write about, and he says this. You take both the guy who they were talking about and the media, the name of the media. So let's say New York Times talks about a Japanese researcher in a Japanese or in a European uh, university. Who cares? You put those things together and then make a comment on what was said there. Positive or negative, against or for, does not make a damn difference. You keep your personal integrity and you say what you say. And you present that to the local paper and they will print you. Not all the time, but out of 10 times they'll print you two, three times and that's good enough. Send them 15 to 20 articles a year and they print you two, three, four, five times. Beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely puts you on a better stool. The other thing would be a book. You've got to write a book. Okay, writing a book is superbly important, superbly important, there is nothing better than a book. Okay, a book puts you on a better stool, a book gets you invited to the TV, radio, television, everywhere. And of course the media, or the, the, the printed paper writes about it too. It's not all that difficult, and if you think you can't write, don't want to write, don't have the time, because yes, it's true, most people take five and ten years to write a book, and then it's not finished yet. Okay, um... Normal publishers take uh, anything between two to three years to publish a book after it's written. <laughs> so, most likely you want to go for, to a ghostwriter, there are plenty of them around, of course we have one also, or we have many, um, and publish it and then make it a bestseller. Let me tell you something, making a book a bestseller is much easier than you might ever have imagined. And the difference between writing a book and being a book bestseller is like, if you have a book, you went to the Olympic. Great thing. If you're a bestseller, you won the gold medal. So, and no, making a bestseller the way I'm talking about, 
which you might see on this side and uh, have other questions. It doesn't necessarily mean you become rich selling the book, but you become rich selling the services because you were so well known. Do you understand me? Good, I hope you do. Those are the ways to do. Now, one way, of course, is also the internet. Um, the internet, Google, for instance, is a driving force in the internet. They're not the internet, but they're a driving force. They will promote you as an expert if you do the right thing, which is what? Give them data videos, real down-to-earth, like frequently asked question type of videos. Lots and lots and lots of them. But we talk about that in the videos in the, in the, in the internet section. Enjoy yourself, click all the links, work through, um, write us with questions. We are willing to answer. Just give us a little bit of time. Uh, um, sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed here uh, doing that. Have fun and become, well, you are an expert, but become known as an expert.